everybody has a story, everybody has a voice, everybody has a culture that's worth sharing with other people. And when we create a community where everybody has an opportunity to live a creative life, that's about seeing people and seeing their, their value and seeing their humanity, and that's ultimately about equity. So to really have the kind of community that we want to live in, we have to have art and culture, and it has to be available to everybody. The mission of the United Arts Council is to build a better Raleigh and Wake County through support of and advocacy for the arts. We're a nonprofit organization, and what we do as local arts agencies that's unique is that we ask the question, how do we provide every single person in the county access to and the opportunity to participate in arts and culture? I feel that the United Arts Council is a great partner to the organizations that they serve because they are strategic in selecting organizations whose missions and goals line up with theirs to impact the diverse community and to make a better Raleigh in Wake County. Our programs, our events, reaches over a million people each year. So that might look like uh, the work that we do with the school system, where we're providing young people the opportunity to have an artist in their school, where we're funding field trips that they might take to a cultural destination. Representation matters. You have to see yourself to know what to aim for. And we believe strongly that when children see themselves, whether it's in a performing arts experience or it's a visual art experience, their lives can change. And that's one of the things that United Arts Council helps us to unlock for children, to be able to find their tribe, to find their people, and to find their passion. We work with individual artists and arts organizations. We give them grants to continue their work. Um, so an arts organization will, could help them produce a festival. An individual artist might help them purchase a much needed piece of equipment to further their career. The grants United Art Council gives to the artists like ourselves are life changing. When I came to this country, it was very different language. I speak Japanese for first language and I lost my um, confidence and I needed a voice and uh, this gave me the feel of that I'm a part of the community. The African American Cultural Festival of Raleigh and Wake County is a festival that's held on Labor Day weekend that attracts over 44,000 people. And that was a mission of preserving our African American heritage and culture. And the United Arts Council was one of the first people to help assist with the festival. And 12 years later, they have still supported us and been able to help give us funding that helps us with operational expenses, it helps us with programming expenses, it helps us to be able to create and put on this festival for our community. And we do some things also with some of the municipalities. So we are the only organization that's looking at saying, for example, how, how do we put a mural or piece of public art in every single municipality in Wake County? We know from data that we gathered in 2019 from our high school seniors that seniors that were enrolled in an arts class were 99% more likely to graduate than their peers that were not in an arts class. And we've had so many success stories about our children that have come through Wake County Schools that, that now have successful careers in the arts. United Art Council, many times, the unpaved road of my idea, they paved the road for me. As an arts organization, we are so appreciative of the United Arts Council. They make art happen in Wake County. So if you're looking for some support, go look at United Arts Council because they care. Ultimately, we want to invite people to engage with their local artists and arts organizations. We are here and there is a fabulous amount of local talent and uh, arts and culture that's really here for everybody.